So reading a double knitting chart is very much like reading any other color work chart. But because we are not working in the round, we are working in rows where we keep turning our work, we also have to read our chart back and forth as we turn our work. Um, so one big difference between reading a double knitting color work chart uh, in rows versus uh, in rounds is that you have to read it back and forth, right? Um, so what I like to do is draw in little arrows to show me which way to read the row, right? Um, another thing to keep in mind is that each um, marker here, each square, so I have two different square types here. Uh, one is, um, is a cell with no marking in it, it's just blank. And then there's a cell with that's filled in gray with an X. And so these two are indicating these two colors but it's not indicating a specific color. It's not that every blank cell is white and every gray cell is green. What these are indicating is main color versus secondary color. Because if you notice in your double knitting, on this side, the main color is gold and the secondary color is white. On this side, the main color is white and the secondary color is gold. So as you turn your work, Instead of thinking white and gold, think main color, secondary color, right? So that's what these uh, cells are indicating here, is the white blank ones are your main color, and the gray ones are the secondary color. So I'm going to work a couple of rows here just to show you um, how to read this chart and translate it into your work. So you can see um, we read the chart just like any other color work chart from the bottom up. But then we also swap left to right or right to left. So I'm now on uh, number nine here. And uh, so number nine is going to be read this way. So from left to right. And so it's going to be main color, secondary, main, and then five secondary, one main, four secondary, one main. Right. So notice I'm not saying white and green. I'm saying main and secondary because it depends on which which side of this work I'm on, which one's white and which one's green. OK, um, another tip I can give you that works for any color work, and that is because we're reading this from the bottom up, which makes sense with our knitting is we're working it from the bottom up is to get either another piece of paper or, you know, there are awesome creations people sell on. Um, the internet of, of <laughs> ways to help you keep track of these things. Uh, but since I'm on number nine, if I leave uh, row number nine here right at the edge, cover up everything above it, uh, then I can easily glance at this page and see which row I'm, I should be reading. But I can also see all the rows underneath it, which should match what I've already worked. So it gives a nice reference. So I'm going to do that. Uh, there we go. You can kind of see that. <laughs> it's not at the best angle, but you get the idea. So I'm reading this from left to right. I've got an empty cell and then a gray cell, empty cell, five gray, right? So main, second, main, and then five second. So, uh, where my yarn is, so I'm on the green side, so my main color is green. So that's what I'm going to be starting with. So the empty cells are my main color, in this case that is green. Get this out of the way. Okay, so just like every other row, the first, you'll notice in this chart, the first, the first stitch and the last stitch are all empty cells. That means they are all just the main color, right? And we're doing that um, twist in the yarn at the start of every row. So knit, twist, pearl, 
girl. Yeah. So that first stitch is always just um, a locking stitch that uh, secures the two sides together. Right. Okay. So now, so that was my main, main, and then see if I can point at it here. Nine, main. That was my first locking stitch. Secondary color, main color, and then five secondary. So the secondary color is white. So I'll do white. Remember, every stitch is two stitches for the front and the back. Um, you're never going to knit both of these in the same color. They'll always just alternate. If one's white, the other one's green. If one's green, the other one's white. <laughs> right? And they always alternate between the two. Um, okay, so secondary and then main color. And then five secondary. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. And then one in main. Four secondary. One. Two. Three. Four. And again, in this pattern, every first and last stitch is always just in the main color. And there is no edge management on the end of a row. It's at the beginning of each row. So just finish that off there. And then don't forget to mark it off. If you're like me and you write on your patterns with check marks and X's, don't forget to mark that off. Okay? And so we're going to turn our work and now I will read this from right to left and main color and secondary color are swapped now because now we're on the other side. So now the main color is white and the secondary color is green. So what we're going to do here, there we go, again from right to left. So we've got one main, three secondary, main, secondary, main, three secondary, main, secondary, main, and finishing off with a main. So again, notice I'm not saying the color names, I'm saying main and secondary. Right? So another tip that I have for you, let me get through this first stitch with our edge management so knit twist pearl pull tight okay so that's our first one in main and then we're going to do three secondary. So my other tip for you, this is what I like to do, is I hold the two strands, uh, one in either hand. And I always put the main color in my right hand, secondary in my left hand. So again, I'm not thinking about green and white, I'm thinking main, secondary. So then I can also think right hand, left hand. Um, just to make uh, interpreting these charts a little bit easier on my brain because these are light and dark and my yarns are light and dark but we don't want to think of them that way because then the pattern will be all jumbled <laughs> uh, but I'm going to do three secondary so I am going to pull yarn from my left hand here and then right hand there so 
that's one. Two. Three. Sorry, you can hear my uh, cable hitting the table. <laughs> uh, okay, then main, secondary, main. Secondary, main, and then three secondary, one, two, Three and then main secondary main secondary and then finish off with two in the main color. There we go.